Hey guys, Terry White here, photography evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to show you a few of the things that we can do with our photos with Adobe Photoshop CC running on the brand new Surface Book from Microsoft. What's great about this device is I not only get a touch interface to work with my photos and make them look better, but more importantly, I even get the Surface Pen to do pressure sensitive work and brushing with my photos to do masking and make my photos look better. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look. So here we are in the full version of Photoshop CC running on the Surface Book. And that's the beauty of the Surface Book is that it can run our full desktop applications. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and we're gonna take a typical wedding photo and we're just gonna make it better. So I could open up the photos right from the CC library, but what I'd rather do is get the exact size that I need. So let's create a new document and we can go in and we can make it whatever size we want. So in this case, we're gonna make it a 10 by eight, sort of like an eight by 10 on its side. And then we'll just click okay. And now, now that will give us the document size we want. Now at this point, I have two photos that I wanna to put together as a composite. So we'll just simply use drag and drop to drag the first one over. That will bring it over and then we can put it wherever we want in the scene. Just gonna back it up a little bit more, right about there. Now, of course, we'll lock it in place and we'll take the next one and drag it right on top. And in this case, I wanna do a couple of things to the photo. I want to flip it over so she's looking at herself, basically. And so we'll just right click on this and we'll say flip horizontal. So I can see that this photo is a little bit smaller than the other one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and resize it. And since we're still in free transform, I can just hold down my shift key so that I don't lose proportions. And we can go ahead and scale this photo up. Now, of course, we're using one photo while we're covering the other. So while it's still selected in free transform, we're just going to lower the opacity of that second photo, kind of ghost it into the background. Now, it does a great job of ghosting it into the background as far as the left, left hand side is concerned, but part of it's still overlapping her. So this is where the surface pin really will help me out a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that in by entering. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna simply add a mask to that top layer. So just by clicking the mask button on the bottom of the layers panel, I can then switch to the black color. And now using the surface pin, I can go in and mask out that lighter photo that was covering up the other photo and where the hands were kind of overlapping and where the bouquet was kind of overlapping. I can now make this photo perfect for our double exposure, our portrait looking at ourselves. And of course, I can just make my brush smaller and really get in and work on the details. And that's just how easy it is to take a simple photo and make it so much more compelling with Photoshop CC, which is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Plan, and of course, running natively on the Microsoft Surface Book, taking advantage of the pressure-sensitive Surface Pen. All right, so let's get our next shot up. I've got this great photo of an Arabian horse that I actually got from Adobe Stock. And we'll go ahead and make it full screen. And what I'd love to do is work on this in a more organic way by having the tablet as a tablet. Right now we're working with the Surface Book where the tablet's attached to the GPU accelerated dock. So all I have to do is press one button to detach. And now I have the power of Photoshop CC in my hand. I have a full blown tablet with Photoshop CC still running. And of course, at this point, what I'd love to do is get this photo ready to become a greeting card. And of course, with a greeting card, we would have text somewhere on the photo, in this case on the right-hand side, but I don't have enough background to work with. So what I'd love to do is actually in a perfect scenario, I'd have the horse maybe a little bit more to the left and maybe a little smaller, so I'd have more room to put more things on the right side. So that's where the magic of Photoshop CC comes in, and especially with uh, with the pressure sensitive uh, surface pen. So what I'd love to do is use content aware move to actually move the horse over and make it smaller. 
So we'll switch to the Content Aware Move tool. We'll just go ahead and make our quick selection around the horse. And this is where the surface pin really shines because I can make these pressure sensitive adjustments or selections with great precision working my way around the horse, which is a lot easier to do than using a mouse. Now that I've got that selection made, I'm already on the right tool. So all I have to do is pick up the horse, move it a little bit more to the left, and you'll notice that I've got transform on drop selected. So with that, I can just go in and shrink the horse size down a little bit, pick it up, put it right back in the same position as far as the height's concerned. And using some of that good old fashioned Adobe magic, we can go ahead and confirm this. And what it's doing right now is it's doing a content aware fill, content aware move, and a transformation all within my hand with the great new Surface Book. So there we are, ready to go. So what I'll do is just go up to my select menu. We'll choose deselect. And my horse looks like it was there all along. The next thing we need is simply to get our text that's going to go on this side. Well, I predefined the text in one of my libraries. So I'll just switch libraries to the one that has the text in it. We'll scroll down and there's my text. So with a simple drag and drop, we can go ahead and bring the text over, put it wherever we want, scale it, size it. And of course, if we still need to edit it, we can. So guys, as you can see, we can do amazing things with Photoshop CC running on the new Surface Book, taking advantage of the touch interface, the Surface Pen, and these are just a few things that we can do, not only with Photoshop CC, but also Lightroom CC in the Adobe Creative Cloud Photography Plan. Check it out at adobe.com. It's been my pleasure, and we'll catch you on the next one.